Hello friends and greetings from Iceland, cold and windy Iceland. Uh, yesterday I went uh, to the volcanoes, the eruption site as you see, uh, through a very rugged terrain. There is a trail actually, up to this point you can walk, uh, it's okay, but after that, after you reach this point where uh, I was, it gets super rugged as you see and then you can't walk any further, but some people do, as you see. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. So I launched my drone, but unfortunately the winds were the way too strong. I uh, flew maybe one kilometer only and I had to return because with such winds, uh, uh, my drone would go out of battery. It would drain the battery. So so powerful winds and it would imagine she land somewhere in the lava so i didn't want to risk it and uh, i just flew one kilometer so but still i zoomed in and um, you can see um, the eruption as it looks and you will also see the trail and the people and you see the burnt grass here and the lava fields you see they are very thin it's very thin layer of lava that spilled all over and lots of moss and vegetation had been burned, as you see. Luckily, we had some rain, uh, which put the fires down. And it's good. And today, finally, we had non-windy weather, but I couldn't come there again today because I was working. But maybe I'll go there tomorrow. <laughs> but let me read you the update from Icelandic Metalvas and also from Volcano Discovery. So let's start with that. The latest update is from 29th of August. So far the Icelandic Met Office didn't publish any information. After that, here you see the volcano. That's how it looks. That's how it looked yesterday, <laughs> because it's today is already the second. So uh, let's start with Icelandic Met Office up latest update. The eruption continues in the area northeast of Stora Skogfell. The activity remained fairly stable for the last few days. There are two main lava fountains active, which seem quite vigorous, though I would add activity somewhat subsided. They were vigorous on 29th, but now there is less lava shooting up in the area as you see, but there are two fountains still. Lava continues to flow mostly to the northwest at a slow rate but also to the east yeah you can see it it's indeed flowing to the northwest there is a lava fountain a lava a falls lava waterfall in front of the volcano to the north and greater seismic activity is being detected uh, since the onset of the eruption on 22nd of August than in previous eruptions in the area. So it's a kind of a different type of eruption here as we have a more seismic activity. Uh, that is probably because the eruption is now taking place further north where uh, more tension is still within the bedrock whereas uh, tension has been released significantly further south in previous events about 20 earthquakes were detected in the dike area for the past 24 hours on 29th of august and 110 earthquakes since monday 26 of august they are mostly confined to the volcanically active area here you see the people the tourists the hikers who are watching the volcano this is as far as you can walk actually uh, easily walk there there is a trail from the parking lot uh, next to blue lagoon road land subsidence is still being detected at swartzengi but at a slower rate this development is similar to the last eruption the magma reservoir is believed to be emptying at a higher rate than filling up. Now, Volcano Discovery reports that fontaining continues at two locations within the eruptive fissure. 
hot juvenile and molten lava clots are being thrown to perhaps a few hundred meters in height now less so fall into the ground coalescing thereby forming lava flows and or piling into the existing several meter high deposits so called spatter ramparts this volcano emitted uh, high amounts of sulfur dioxide which had been detected uh, on the island of Madeira uh, in the Atlantic on August 26 uh, Madeira Island News reported that uh, uh, due to the recent volcanic activity in Iceland it is expected that between tomorrow and Tuesday it was well, 26 of August Madeira will have higher levels of sulfur dioxide concentration in the atmosphere above 1500 meters it should be noted that the gas in excess can cause irritation in the eyes nose and throat as well as respiratory problems uh, lower levels will not be affected by this and sulfur dioxide can be se cannot be seen but will have a smell of sulfur maybe at highest levels it's quite interesting how far sulfuric emissions uh, went across the atlantic from this volcano now of course it's less because we have less you know, less lava emission and less gas emission than in the first days but it's a remarkable fact that i wanted to share anyway enjoy the rest of the footage here you see some of the hikers heading for the eruption side i followed that trail Yesterday, you can do the same if you are in Iceland, as long as the wind is in the right direction. Keep that in mind. All the best and God bless.